Welcome to another Rational, I'm not really sure what to call this show, so let's call it Rational Show. I am joined at the table today by two extraordinary people. Both live locally and they're very much involved in the community. First, allow me to introduce Sante. Did I get it right this time? You, you did. You did. Wonderful. <laughs> Sante, tell us, you, you are the founder of Share. I am, yeah. Tell us a little bit about Share. Yeah, SHARE is Colorado's non-monogamy community, um, and really our mission is to normalize non-monogamy as a valid relationship choice for all adults. So if you're monogamous, we're not here for you. We have no problem with that. Um, but if you've ever been curious about non-monogamy, our community is here to support you. Or if you already are part of any of the ethically non-monogamous communities out there, um, we're here to support you as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. AJ, it's wonderful to see you back at the table again. It's great to see um, you, Nigel. You, I hope that everyone watched our first show that we did. Just in case they didn't, why don't you give us a little brief overview of yourself and what you're doing in the community? Well, my name is AJ Fox. I am an event coordinator and creative solutioner, as I like to call it, uh, living out here in Colorado. Um, I've been working on events for the last several years in been very excited to partner with Sante on a couple of amazing projects that I think really deserve a lot of attention. Now, you've, you have both come together under this partnership. I think we desperately need to talk about what is happening on November the 17th. November the 17th, we have No Co Exchange, which is like Cher's cool sibling kind of, a, of event. Um, we have a lot of people who travel from up north and go all the way to Denver to make events in Denver for these type of like lifestyle community focused events. Mm -hmm. And they are just kind of tired of that drive. I know that I am. I've been driving to Denver for four years for multiple weekends in a row every month and it gets tiring. So I've definitely wanted to create more opportunities and spaces for people like me and the communities that I'm a part of uh, to enjoy themselves a little bit closer to home. It's kind of interesting that you say that because you have earmarked the Dickens, and I should give it its full name, the Dickens Opera House yes. here in Longmont, which yes. is a, a fantastic old building mm -hmm. to start with. How did you get involved with the Dickens? Well, the Dickens and I have a very long love affair. Um, I love the Dickens <laughs> so much. It was the first venue I ever got started doing events at ever actually like years ago in my early 20s when I was a junior wedding planning junior wedding planning assistant. So um, now I'm excited to come back into the space and to bring more experience and passion and focus to create events that everyone can enjoy. And I think you're doing a wonderful job. I mean the fashion show that you did this just this last week. Talk a little bit about that because I want people to understand that there are real things going on here in Longmont. There are. I mean, Longmont has grown like exponentially even since like uh, we went through the pandemic and everything. I feel like there's so many people in Longmont now and there's a lot more culture and a lot more diversity than what I've seen like my entire life growing up in this area. Um, I love to see it and I think that we need to bring those communities together and show them that you can hang out in Longmont and have a good time and that the communities that you're interested in learning more about or that you're a part of are here and that they're represented by people who care and who are a part of it as well. So on the 17th, what will people expect to see? Well, we have an incredible headliner confirmed as our MC and headliner. We have Jessica Lahore, who is just one of my favorite drag entertainers in the industry itself. Um, we've hired her for past uh, events. She's been in Denver with us. She's been in Vegas with us. And she does a lot of like drag uh, events at Left Hand Brewery here in Longmont as well. So I thought she would be the perfect fit because she's familiar with the city and the city's familiar with her and we can just give her an extra venue to like just put her magic all over. Um, <laughs> and then, so she'll be headlining and performing and emceeing and we'll have a couple of um, cool performances after that um, as well, which I'm really excited about. Actually, next Thursday, October 19th from 6 to 9 p.m., we're hosting a casting call and a community meeting to uh, just 
cast talent that's here locally in uh, Longmont. We're trying to find Northern Colorado talent, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we yeah, really are trying yeah. to focus more on people who live locally. Right. Um, I mean, people who are willing to travel to Longmont are more than welcome to join, but I am a little biased in yeah. that sense. Well, no, I understand that, but I mean, you're, you're really looking for Northern Colorado, and mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the key there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Loveland, Greeley, Fort Collins, yes. Windsor, yeah. all the little... Yep. Anyway, all of that. Wyoming, they, even. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll we'll just. But the focus is because there's so much going on in Denver already. All the time. Yes, and this is an opportunity to showcase all the amazing talent that we have in Northern Colorado. Right. And I know there is some being involved with the Longmont Theatre Company. Yeah. I mean, we've got some absolutely amazing talent in mm -hmm. this area, and that's not just acting. That's singing. That's across the board. Yeah. So one of the really great things is even after the performances, like not only do you have an opportunity to enjoy like the show, you can also get a dinner ticket with your ticket oh. and enjoy a dinner and a show cabaret style. So I'm really hoping to get some burlesque along with the drag because I just feel like that fits the Dickens vibe like so well. It does. Um, and then after the dinner and the show, we have an after party with one of my favorite DJs um, who's local as well, uh, DJ Nate Anomaly. And and he is just a really good friend, of, a really good friend of mine, a really good friend of Sante's as well. And very he's, talented DJ. Yes, though. he's we didn't just so put him as our friend. <laughs> no, no, no. He's super talented. Um, he does something really great with his mixes, where he brings a lot of like Latin infusion into it, which oh, I think nice. is so important. Because I go to clubs all the time, I never get to hear any reggaeton. I never get to hear anything that has more of like that cultural uh, influence. And he takes it from different parts of yeah, uh, the really world does. and different countries, and he's really good at marrying those together and getting people to move, so. Excellent. Yeah. You got me excited to see this show already. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. Of course, you, you did mention drag artists, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a shame, because it means this show will immediately get banned in Florida. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's accurate, though, yeah. Right, I mean. <laughs> We've had folks from Florida come to our events and say that they, they came specifically so they mm -hmm. could be expressed without being arrested. Absolutely. And it's it's amazing that in 2023, we still have to deal with that in the US. It's wild that art could be illegal. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, that self-expression can be illegal. Yeah. So but, we're here to do anything to to like support and to give more opportunities for people yeah. as well. Fortunately, here in Longmont, we have a different view on that. So yeah. that's, that's good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it is good because, you know, when you look at what is happening in Florida, and I hate to keep bringing Florida up, but you just have to shake your head and wonder what the heck yeah. are they thinking down there? Well, you can't say gay. They're not thinking about people is what's happening, is that I don't oh, really feel don't like think, they're yeah. putting a lot of things in consideration. But I mean, human nature is an interesting thing when you mm -hmm. look at recorded history. So right. <laughs> I can't say it's surprising, mm -hmm. but shocking at I least, know. right? Mm -hmm. I, I just I don't get it. I yeah. don't get it either. I found the whole thing so yeah. amusing because back in the 60s and the early 70s, we every Saturday night there used to be a performer called Danny LaRue. Guess mm -hmm. what he was? He was a drag artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was on mainstream television, 8 o'clock, Saturday night, Yeah. and <laughs> everyone loved the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it takes talent yeah. to do that. It does, yeah. yeah. I mean, drag has been around since before Shakespeare, so... Oh, <laughs> I mean, I true. Yeah. If you if you, actually, uh, the, uh, I probably shouldn't say this, but if you watch any show at all on, uh, say, ancient Rome, they were all in drag. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they set, they anyway. set the bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to get the people thinking hey, about I'm the Italian, Roman Empire. So they do this. that enough themselves. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, one thing about Longmont is that there's a lot of opportunities to be creative and to be a part of these. I mean, I even hate to say that they're alternative communities because they're really not. I would say that they're probably more, more of the majority, and it, that's just the norm. Yeah. Uh, it's 2023, and people shouldn't be scared to be themselves or to make the art that they want to make know. in the world. Yeah. And you're here. Um, I'm very happy to highlight Summit Tacos for hosting um, Drag Queen Loteria. That's something that I think is incredible mm -hmm. and highlight Left Hand Brewery. And now to add a third spot on the map in town mm -hmm. is just a huge goal yeah. of mine. So Absolutely. It's amazing. It, re it really is. Now, I wrote a note down here, sex on site, and I can't remember why I wrote it down now. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Clickbait? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wrote it down because I, I wrote it down because I know you wanted to talk about it. So yeah. please, uh, could you help me out of the hole? I I've think you're missing a myself. couple of words there. It right. should be, there yeah. is no sex on site. There is oh, there no is. sex on site. So while there might be, the um, might not have been working you know, there. participants of like swinger communities or other kind of yeah. non-monogamy communities, we're all sexy people. We all have mm -hmm. the drive right. to be in these communities. However. Control yourselves at the Dickens Opera yeah. House. It's a classy uh, space. Uh. We do have um, some great hotels nearby yeah. that you can get a room at, especially if you're coming from down south or some from somewhere farther away and you mm -hmm. want to have a space to crash in Longmont at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. There's tons of hotels like less than a mile away yes. that you could get a stay at. Yeah. So and these, I mean, these, are, these are nice hotels. They I mean, are. Let's, yeah. Let's just talk about yes. that. I mean, the, these are not sort of like a little motel. No, no, no. These no. are real hotels, etc., yeah. etc. Exactly. Yeah. I just wanted to get that covered. And it's, I mean, the after party we're leaving up to guests to create their own after party. Yes. One of the one of the stigmas. I mean, one of the big missions of Share is to reduce stigma yes. yep. around non-monogamy. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest stigmas we see is that it's hypersexualized. Mm -hmm. People think that if you're not monogamous that you're sleeping with everybody right. that you have a sex addiction there's just all sorts of stigma around that that right. we want to reduce right and so this event specifically it's designed to be accessible to people who are just curious who may not even know if non-monogamy is for them but they right. can come out here and connect with a real community of mm -hmm. great people without any pressure to, you know, it's not like going to a sex club or something like that. Right. Which in a lot of cases is the only first step that's been available. Right. So this is a place where you can just come learn. There'll and be that's people there with just information. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot to walk into just going to like a sex club or something like that too. You don't know like what yeah. to do with your hands or where to look, uh, you know, who to hang out with or who's okay to, or how do you approach someone. Yeah. So it's just, that's why these events, they're, it's smaller, it's more intimate, it's not a night club experience mm -hmm. at all it's very just focused around connecting with your no-co lifestyle communities yeah, right and really like interacting with maybe some familiar faces but meeting mm -hmm. fresh ones yes. in your circles we all kind of get stuck in our own circles so it's great yeah. to make new connections and to network quite some time ago um april tees um, yes yeah. she, she used to have a burlesque well she still does have right. a burlesque group yeah uh, and she used to put on a lot of performances at a little club south of Denver called Squirrel Creek. Yep. Uh -huh. Great little club. Right. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of photography there for April, photographing her shows, yep. videoing her shows, etc. Mm -hmm. One thing I discovered, everyone, everyone in that building was friendly. If you were feeling a bit lonely and you just wanted to go and talk, you could just literally walk across to anyone and, and they would talk to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and it was an amazing feeling there. It, it sort yeah. of... It, I know it's strange, but it reminded me of being in a British pub. Yep. Because that's exactly the same thing will happen. Yeah. yeah. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I'd like to say at this point is I hate the word alternative in this context. Right. Mm, indeed. I really mm -hmm. do. Indeed. Alternative society. Mm -hmm. What the heck does that mean? Right. We'll never normalize this if that's how right. it's always looked at. Right. If yes. we're always putting that caveat in front of it. Absolutely mm -hmm. agree with that. I mean, I, 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 it's one of those words I wish we could all drop it from our vocabulary in this context. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it does have a real meaning and it can be used in a real way. Right. Yeah. But not in this context because we're all yeah. human beings. We are all Every human one beings. of us is, is human beings. We all have feelings, we, you know, but we're all built differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, what may turn you on won't turn me on. Yeah. What turns me on may not turn Ajax, AJ on. Ajax. <laughs> Ajax, yeah. <laughs> I, caught, I caught myself. <laughs> so, okay, so how do people get tickets? Yeah. Do you want to tell me, AJ? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You can go to nocoexchange.com, mm -hmm. and it'll take you to a brilliant little page that explains our itinerary, um, who we have booked, what's going on, and have a lovely little button that says buy tickets, and you click that. Um, we have early bird seating right now, and I would highly recommend getting your seating sooner than later because they are tiers, mm -hmm. and each tier means that the ticket prices go up higher. Understood. Yeah. Um, That's and normal. It's just, it helps the rest restaurant plan ahead for knowing who wants to get dinner as well and I yeah. feel like it's better just to get the dinner and the show ticket because you're going to be in there without dinner watching everyone else eat dinner and then you're going to want to get dinner exactly. anyways yes. so you might as well just get the whole package <laughs> you know <laughs> and we so, do have a limit on the number of tables that yeah, we have it's, we've it sold about limited. half the available inventory at this mm -hmm. point so oh, um, as, as we're filming this so yeah. um, definitely if you want dinner and a table book sooner than later yeah otherwise yeah. standing room which is Great, but 
not as great as a yeah, table. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> I am so pleased to hear 50%. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, two thumbs up, guys. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. yeah, we're only. I a mean, couple we know of... a lot of people in the community. We have some people driving up from Denver. Yes. We're going to be getting yes. hotels. Yeah. Um, but I'll, 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 are we going to allow them in though? Uh, from well, Denver, you know, I, you know, I, as long as they're not performing. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love our we love our Denver family. Um, we just wanted to do something up north. Yeah. And, and we definitely want to showcase talent from up here. Right. And uh, the whole point is like you have to show up to each other's events in order to get people at events. It's a reciprocal that, ecosystem. Yeah, that makes an you know, lot. that makes yeah. sense. We talked about that in our last interview yes. about just yes. people are like, how do you get people to your events? And it's like you go to theirs and then you invite them back. Mm -hmm. um, cross collaboration is key. We've been meeting and talking with lots of community leaders, uh, people who have yeah. like Facebook groups for lifestyle groups and everything. And we have um, some mm -hmm. leaders committed to coming and they'll be bringing their people. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a lot of fun and a really good way to meet new faces and have delicious food and enjoy yourself and just unwind after like such a serious week i feel like things have been very heavy uh in the world lately so oh, it's yes. just nice to connect with others and to be present in the moment and to enjoy what is right in front of you yeah. they're in for a treat it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be absolutely wonderful yeah, yeah, yeah. it really is you're bringing all your favorites too i'm so excited oh my god <laughs> I'm so excited. For, for a long time yes, so. yes. She's, yeah. she's allowed she's allowed to do that yeah, yeah, yeah. No, i appreciate it she yeah. really is so so with the rehearsals being on, uh, not rehearsals, maybe a uh, casting mm -hmm. on the 19th of October, I, I guess you're going to be adding people that get into the show. You'll mm -hmm. be adding those onto the website yeah, as it goes. Yeah, we'll have the performers confirmed a week after the next Thursday, so they'll get to know within a week what we're thinking, and mm -hmm. we're still going to keep everyone's information who shows up to the casting call, so that way we can pull from that in the, the future for future events as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any closing thoughts? Boy, you put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my job. I think I just, I want to drive home that we want to make this accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and really, it's not just that there won't be sex on site. For a lot of people who are ethically non-monogamous or curious about non-monogamy, it's not about sex at all. Nope. It's about connections. Mm -hmm. And even for the people who are getting something sexual out of it, it's still yeah. mostly about connections and friendships. Yeah. Um, human connections. And really, our, our goal is really just to let people know they have a choice. So many people feel their only choice is to stay in an unhappy monogamous relationship or infidelity. Mm. And there's another option. So if that's you and you're stuck somewhere in here, yep. this is a place that'll help you get on the court and learn more. Yep. That's superb. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for summarizing it like that. That, yeah. was, that was excellent. AJ, do you have any closing words? Yeah, I mean, just... Uh, going underneath what Sante was saying, this is just an opportunity to take a step deeper into the life that you want to be living. Uh, we can all stand to be more authentic, you know, um, mm -hmm. in a lifetime where social media and making sure that the appearances and the likes and all that are like lined up. It's really important to have face-to-face -face interaction with people and to practice, uh, I don't know, being people with one another, having conversations. Like, um, there's a lot of passion that's being put into this project, not only from like me and Sante, but mm -hmm. from like the venue um, that's been so helpful in supporting us. They really want to be a part of supporting communities um, that haven't really been supported historically in the past, and they want to be leaders in that as well. So I really feel like we just have a whole team mm -hmm. who is passionate about creating spaces for creating spaces for people that have been needing spaces to meet and to enjoy themselves at. Right. There used to be a, a, a great TV show called The Red Green Show. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you've ever seen I don't it. Remember or it. it used oh, to be okay. on PBS. Yeah. Canadian show. Okay. One of his catches, catchphrases was always, and don't forget, we're all in this together. Mm. And we really, really are. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are people. Yeah. Treat them like people. Treat them yes. like human beings. It, it doesn't matter what their personal lives are. Yeah. They're still human. And Never, they still ever. deserve representation. Thank you yes. both for coming in today and, and talking about this. I'm, I'm really excited to see, to see what happens on October the 19th. Us too. And, and meeting those people, which will be great. But of course, November the 17th, don't forget, November the 17th, write it in your diaries, order tickets. <laughs> I'm going to be really wonderful to meet all these different, different people. Of course, yeah. if I'm behind my camera, which I probably will be, um, <laughs> I won't get to meet too many, but yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure I do pre-show and post-show. Yeah. Great. 
which uh, is, is to me is important. It yeah. really is because um, yeah. you never know. I'm an old dog, but I even I may learn something new. Yeah. Well, you're really great at connecting with all kinds of communities, Nigel. I've witnessed that for the last several years that I've known you, and I just I appreciate your ability to talk to anyone and in fit into any room. So I know we could speak for hours here, but we, <laughs> for sure. I, I know you are both incredibly busy people. I know that AJ has to get ready to shoot down to Denver uh, and yes. all the Governor rest of it. Yeah, uh, vampire ball. The rest of the week. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This was a show with a difference. Just two gorgeous people. I, I love working with these two. And don't forget, November the 17th, really important, the Dickens Opera House here in Longmont. It is a great facility. There is parking at the back. You're going to have a tremendous time, and you are going to meet some of the most fascinating people under the sun. I'm Nigel Aves, your host. This was a rational show. <laughs> I want to thank you all. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us at the table. Bye-bye.